Hey everyone, and welcome to day 16 of Yoga With Me, Inga. Welcome. Today we're gonna get started in a seated position. Spine is nice and tall. You can either sit on your sits bones or on your shins. Hands are gonna to come to your knees. Let's start with a couple deep breaths. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your belly. Exhale, open your mouth. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Two more big breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Now start to find your ujjayi breath in through the nose. Out through the nose. Nice strong breath in. Long breath out. Awesome, one more breath before we begin to move. One more, inhale. Awesome, and then like open your eyes, we're gonna take some nice big hip circles. We're gonna start by moving to the left and then all the way over to the right. Just moving side to side, warming and waking up those hips, waking up the spine, getting the shoulders into it. Then maybe you wanna get the head and the neck with a little bit of rolls. Just nice big circles. Awesome, and let's reverse direction. And one more big circle. Then come back to a nice tall seat. We're going to take our left hand to our right knee, right hand behind. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, pull your low belly in and begin to twist. Gaze is over your back shoulder, looking towards the back. That's a big breath in. And twist back to the front, right hand comes to your left knee, left hand behind, lengthen, and twist. Lengthen, and twist. Awesome, one more, inhale, and exhale. Let's twist back to the front, we're gonna come over our knees as long as your knees are okay, or otherwise you can bring them out to the side and we'll come to a tabletop position. We're gonna start with by warming up the spine. So starting with three rounds of cat and cow, drop your belly, scoop your heart, gaze up. Exhale, separate your shoulder blades, push the floor away. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more. Come back to a neutral spine, chin away from your chest. Let's begin to balance. So extend the left leg behind you, flex your toes back towards your nose, rotate all five toes so they point down. Press equally between the hands. Take a deep breath in. Begin to extend that right arm forward, almost like you're going to shake someone's hand. Fingertips spread nice and wide. Gaze is down. I want you to pull your belly in and then lift your leg a little bit higher. Hips are square to the ground. Take a deep breath and inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we're going to bring our hand back to the side, leg up to the side. Awesome. Inhale, come back, lengthen. Exhale, all the way out to the side. Maybe you want to bend the knee and find a little bit of motion here. Lengthen. And bend. One more, working on our balance. Lengthen and release around the cat and cow. Neutral spine. Right leg extends. Flex your toes back towards your nose. Pull your core in. Spine nice and tall. Hips square to the ground. All five toes pointing down. Press equally between those hands. Spine tall. Gaze is down. Left arm extends. Big breath in. Lengthen. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hand out to the side, leg out to the side. Lengthen. Out to the side. Awesome, you got it. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale, come back to center. And release around your cat and cow. 
Awesome, come to a neutral spine. We're gonna work on our shoulders today. So take a deep breath and inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, we're gonna thread our arms and we're gonna hover, gazing at your right thumb. Inhale, lengthen, lift and stretch. Exhale, hover. Inhale. Exhale. One more, lengthen. Exhale, thread the arm through. Come down onto that shoulder. Walk your left hand forward. You can press into the left hand here, finding a little bit of torque, or bring your left hand to your low back, finding a little bit of space. Left hand back, works back towards your face. Inhale, reach your right arm up. And release. Left hand rises. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, thread the arm through and hover. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hover. Three more. And hover. Inhale. And exhale. Use your core to keep yourself upright. One more. Lengthen. Arm all the way through and down. Walk that right hand forward. Palm plants up at the top. Or hand comes to your low back. Good for you. Left, or right hand comes back all the way down. Take a deep breath in. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, hands down, around of cat and cow. Awesome, neutral spine, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. First down dog, bend left and right, warm and with it those hamstrings. Shake your head, no, not your head, yes, find a lot of space. Really spread your fingertips nice and wide, and then press your hips up high to the sky. Maybe you wanna drop your heels down towards the ground. Three breaths. Before we take our sun salutations, we'll take three today. Awesome. Inhale, come up onto those tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float forward, fold. Half lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Reach all the way up, full body stretch. Awesome, fold. Half lift. Plant your hands, step back, plank pose. And let's try to round it all the way down to our belly right away. Untuck your toes, come up, cobra, keep a bend into those elbows. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Awesome, big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, fold, exhale. We're gonna take two more sun salutations, reach all the way up if you wanna move a little bit more quickly and add a couple more in here, more than welcome to. If you wanna move some more slowly, you can. Fold, half lift, step or float, back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. When you're ready, take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Lift. Fold. Full body stretch. Awesome, fold, last one. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Lift. Chaturanga. Three breaths. One more, inhale. Exhale. Awesome, we're gonna shift forward to our plank pose. And we're gonna come down onto our forearms. So forearms are on the ground. Fingertips are spread nice and wide. Your arms are open, trying to spread your fingers down to the ground. We're gonna relax our head here, gazing at your toes. And all you're gonna do is walk your toes forward. This is our dolphin pose. So our arms are separated, hips are nice and long. You should feel a tremendous stretch down the back of your leg. Awesome, holding here. 
We're going to alternate between our dolphin, some forearm planks, and some sphinx. Awesome. Continue to breathe. It's almost like a modified sun salutation. All right, now walk your toes back. Bring the gaze back at your thumbs. Hold forearm plank. If this is too much, you can always drop down to your knees, but try to keep that core pulling in. Spine nice and tall. Navel pulls to the spine and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Drop the thighs down. Untuck the toes. Squeeze pose. Awesome. Spine is nice and tall. Opening the heart. Leo. Thank you. Awesome. Breathing here, letting the heart settle back down. Let's tuck our toes back under and press back up to our forearm plank and walk back forward to our dolphin pose. So now you can just stay here once again. Make sure those arms are parallel to each other so they're open up. They're not splaying in like this. They're out like this, flat and flat to the ground, nice and open. While you're here, you can pick up your left leg. Maybe point your toes up towards the sky and then let the right heel drop down towards it. Really opening the shoulders, opening the legs. Awesome. Place your left leg down. Pick up your right leg. Point your toes away. And breathe. Relax that left leg. Feeling that tremendous stretch. Keep those arms nice and stable. You got it. If it is ever too much, you can just come back to your downward facing dog. Let's walk back. Forearm plank. This time we're going to hold here for 10. Breathe, pull that navel in, nine, eight, gazes forward, six, five, four, three, two, one, release down, swings, pose, untuck those toes. Heart peels forward. And breathe. Relax your glutes, relax your heart, focus the breath. Now, you can stay here in your dolphin. Maybe you want to lift one leg, or I'm going to show you the next thing. So it's dolphin push-ups if you want to add them. We'll only do one more dolphin. Are you ready? Tuck your toes under, plank, walk forward. So stay here. Maybe just walking the toes more forward than you did before. Maybe you want to lift that right leg or that right leg, or gaze forward. As we inhale, we're going to begin to shift forward. We're going to tap our chin on the ground. Exhale, lift your hips. Forward and back. Dolphin push-ups. Keep those forearms away from each other, parallel to the sides of the mat. Moving forward and back. Using that core, let's do five more. Four. Three. Two. You got it. Last one. Forward and back. Walk back. Forearm plank. Hold here for five. Four. Three, two, one, drop down, release, sphinx pose. Awesome. Toes touch, heels open, gazing forward. Breathing here and now. Great job, everyone. We're going to plant our hands underneath our shoulders. Press back down on facing dog. Now feel how open your shoulders are, how open the backs of your legs are. Awesome. Begin to sway side to side. Great job. If you want, you can shift forward to your plank and take a vinyasa. Going through your chaturanga to your up dog, back to your down dog. Three big breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Awesome. Right leg steps forward. Let's rise to our crescent one. So back heel is lifted. Arms are outstretched. Back leg is nice and long. We're bending deep and step front. The arms are outstretched forward. Awesome. Breathe in here. I'll take three big breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale, open up warrior two, back heel plants onto the ground, arms outstretch. Front knee points forward, gaze is forward, back arm is lifted. Awesome, three breaths.
Hey, buddy. Awesome. Now lengthen your front leg. We're going to turn our toes in. Awesome. Take a deep breath and inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're going to hinge forward, bring our hands either to our feet, to our big toes, or all the way down to the ground. Awesome. While you're here, shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Find a lot of space. And breathe. Maybe shift the weight a little bit forward into the balls of the feet. And stretch into it. Try not to let yourself get distracted. Be here and now in your practice. Awesome. Plant your hands out onto the ground. Inhale, lift your hands halfway. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Hands all the way down, chaturanga. Option to float your leg or to move right back to downward facing dog. Awesome, big breath in. No, you don't have to shut it. Big breath out. Awesome, left leg steps forward. Crescent lunge. Spine nice and tall, hips square forward. Knee bending in. And stacking over the ankle, back leg lifted, back heel lifted, lengthen through that back leg, three breaths. One more, inhale. Open up, warrior two, spine nice and tall, three breaths. Bend a little bit more into that front knee, back arm lifted, gazing forward. Awesome, lengthen your front leg. Turn your toes in, take a deep breath in, reach up. Exhale, hinge forward, bringing your hands all the way down to the ground. Maybe you want to bring your forearms all the way down to the ground too. Whatever feels good for you today, make sure those toes are, toes are pointing in at a 45 degree angle. If, if that's too hard, you can always point them straight, but you don't want your toes pointing out away from you. Awesome, relaxing here. Maybe you want to shift the weight forward and back. Relax the head, relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Two more breaths. One more inhale. Exhale. Awesome. Plant those hands down, lift halfway. Hands to hips. Come all the way up. Awesome. Warrior two. Big breath in. Chattering the option to float that leg. Up down. Down drop. Three breaths. One more time, right leg steps forward. Rise, crescent lunge. This time, hands drop down behind your back. Interlace your fingers, take a deep breath in. Exhale, begin to hinge forward. Maybe your right shoulder comes to the inside of your right knee. Your thigh, your chest may be lifted on your thigh, that's okay. Your hands can stay here at your low back or work all the way over towards the ground. Keep that bend into that front knee, knee point in, hips still square to the front of the room. Awesome, hands come down to your low back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open up warrior two. Deep breath in. Forearm to thigh side angle, we're gonna hold. So take this top shoulder and roll it up towards the sky. If you wish, you can take your top hand and drop it down behind your back, maybe reaching for your inner thigh, half by and roll your heart up to the sky. Keep that bend into that front knee, thigh parallel to the ground. Awesome, if you're in a half bind, come back to your side angle. Inhale, come back to your warrior two. Lengthen your leg, turn your toes in. Hands drop down behind your back, Opposite thumb on top, deep breath and lengthen. Exhale, begin to hinge, hands at the low back or work all the way over three breaths.
Breathe in here, relax in the head and the neck. Hands come back to the low back. Release all the way down. Lift halfway. Hands to hips. All the way up. Warrior two. Deep breath in. Chatter around the way up. One more side. You got it. You can always move right back to your downward facing dog if that feels better for you today. Last one. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Left leg steps forward. Crescent. Hands down, back behind. One more time. Big breath in. If you wish, in forward. You cannot stay in an upright position. Hands can stay at your low back or work all the way over. Your choice. Keep those legs nice and stable. Left hip pulling back, right hip forward. Hands to your low back. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. Deep breath in, side angle. Roll that heart up to your sky, stay here, or continue to rotate that hand, reaching for the thigh. Take your top shoulder, roll it up towards the sky, gazing up, three breaths. One more, inhale. Exhale, release your hand, warrior two. Lengthen, toes in, hands down behind the back, opposite thumb on top, big breath in, hinge forward. Finding that space and relaxing. Continuing the breath, having a push play relationship. Two more breaths. Last one, inhale. Exhale, hands all the way down to the ground, lift halfway. Hands to hips, all the way up. Warrior two. Breath in, chaturanga. Three big breaths. Awesome. Inhale, go up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees, step or float to the outsides of your hands. We're going to come to our malasana. So walk those heels out so much so that you can plant your feet firmly onto the ground. Toes point out to the sides. You can always take something, <clears throat> for example, I have this handy dandy basket, and you can put your butt on it to kind of relax. You want to make sure that you're not collapsing, you should still be using your core. You can always take a blanket or a pillow if you can't quite get your heels down onto the ground. You can bring your heels onto that so you can sink it. It makes it a little bit easier. But while you're here, press your elbows into your knees, bringing your thumbs to your heart center. All we're going to do is breathe. Our hip opener for the day, really relax those hips down. Let's find some movement while we're here. Plant your right hand down to the inside of your right foot. Take a deep breath in, lift your left arm up. Awesome, release your left arm down. Inhale, right arm up. Then switch, moving side to side with your breath. One more each side. Awesome. Elbows press back into your knees. Spine nice and tall. Now, while we're here, all we're going to do is slowly rock back. 
and come to a seat. Awesome, bring the soles of the feet together. Hands interlace around the toes. Take a deep breath in. Hinge forward, pressing those elbows into your shins. Maybe you want to round forward. Maybe your forehead can come all the way down to your big toes. Breathing nice and deep right here, right now. Awesome, round your spine so we go all the way up. Great job. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to our full pigeon. So we're gonna start with the left leg down onto the ground, shin parallel to the front. We're gonna take our right leg up and over. So right ankle over the left knee, left right knee over the left ankle. Find the ankle over knee, knee over ankle. Now we're gonna stay upright today. It doesn't matter if your hips all the way up here or flat onto the ground. Everyone's hips are a little bit different. We're going to start by taking the right arm and we're going to bring it around the left. We're going to give ourselves a nice big hug. All we're going to do here is lift up our elbows. If this feels good and you want a little bit more, we're just going to take the forearms. We're going to rotate them around each other. These are our eagle arms. So I'm going to move kind of to the side so you can see. Keeping your hips exactly where they are. You're going to lift your elbows up and away. And then your forearms are going to come away from your face. So you should feel a tremendous stretch in your shoulders, but also in your arms. Fingertips ideally press together. Awesome, lift those elbows a little bit more, forearms a little bit further away. Now breathe here into your shoulders, but also into your right hip. If this is always too much for your hips, you can extend that bottom leg out and open your hips this way as well. Two more breaths. Last one, inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Let's release our feet. So right leg comes, chin comes parallel. Left leg up and over. Ankle over knee, knee over ankle, knee up here, knee flat on the ground. Maybe you want to extend that bottom leg out. Now arms out to the side, left up on the bottom. Give yourself a nice big hook. Lift those elbows up and away. Stay here, relaxing into the hip and feeling the shoulder stretch or eagle arms. Elbows up and away, forearms away from your face. Breathing. Total body stretch almost. Arms and legs. Everything active. Maybe relax in that left hip a little bit more. Elbows still lifted. Two more breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Extend your legs out in front of you. Let's take a forward fold. Feet can be together or at hip distance. Deep breath and lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, reaching for whatever you can grab. Deep breath in, half lift. Exhale, hinge forward, forward fold. Awesome, put your toes and slowly roll all the way up. Now let's roll all the way down onto our back. We're gonna take one more pose. It's gonna be our happy baby pose. So draw your knees into your chest. You're gonna come onto the outsides of your feet and you're gonna press your knees into your armpits. Feet stamped onto the ground or onto the floor. While you're here, you can walk side to side, but really press that low back into the ground. You can stay here opening up the hips. Maybe you want to open one leg and then the other, taking your straddle pose. Whatever feels good for you right here, right now. Awesome. Pull those knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. And then extend your legs, extend your arms. Shavasana. As always, if you wish, you can always extend your legs up towards the sky. Let's end with one more big breath in. Open your mouth. Relax, release, let go. Be still.
Wiggle your fingers and your toes, wrists and ankles, head and neck. Take whatever movements you need to wake your body up. And roll over to a side. And press yourself up to a seat. Spine nice and tall. Hands at heart center. One more breath together. Inhale. Open your mouth. Relax. Release. And it's okay. The love and light inside of me honors the love and light inside of you. Thank you so much for sharing day 16 with me. Namaste. Awesome job, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.